Welcome to another episode of Goal Setting Mondays with the Loan Signing System. My name is Mark. If you're watching this replay, thank you so much. Every single Monday, I come on live on Instagram to help signing agents grow their business. That is through helping them goal set better. That's through helping them, through giving them advice. It's helping giving them one-on-one coaching. This is truly the best business no one has ever heard of as every single home has to have a notary to close. And those that need notary signing agents, Make $75 or $200 for an appointment that rarely takes more than an hour. How is everybody doing today? Let's go. All right. So if you're brand new to this and how it works is there's a little camera icon right there. I jump on, hit add camera. I will invite you on with me and then we go one-on-one. So let's get this party started. It is first come, first serve. Um, let's go with Angel. All right. Hello, hello, hello. So glad everybody's with you. What an amazing Monday. Hope everybody had an amazing <coughs> Monday. Oh, uh, what up, girl? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. The king. All right. Uh, Angel the Notary. I have a Angel the Notary. Tell everybody where you're from. <laughs> yes, I'm from San Jose, Bay Area. Ow. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so uh, you know how this works, girl. First off, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I'm always DMing angels. You're doing big things out in the Bay. Uh, but like anybody who is good at what they do, they're always looking for a mentor and some for advice and goal setting. So talk to me, you're up. All right. I'm so awkward. I feel like whenever you say to go out with your escort officers, but I don't know, I don't want to bother them. And I feel like I'm not interesting enough and I don't know what to do, Mark. Okay. I don't want to bother yeah, them. You know, so this is a good conversation. And I think this conversation could apply to anybody's part of their business, you know, you know, to kind of bring forth what Angel's really saying is she's at the point of her business where she wants to create deeper relationships, yeah. right? Where exactly. the relationships aren't just business related, but it's really taking it from a business to personal, if that makes sense. Oh, sorry yeah. about my little button being on button there. Um, so, you know, what I, what I really hear right now is someone who's insecure about who they are. Very. And so the way you help overcome in being insecure is kind of the way remembering go back when you walked into your very first office for the first time, right? It's remembering what makes you great. So my point is, is when you're trying to bring Bridget from a friendship, business related to a friendship, it's remembering how awesome you are again. Like, why wouldn't they want to hang out with you? You have like more energy than I do, girl. Like your smile is beautiful. Your energy is contagious. So you have to uh, stop selling yourself short. Remember what makes you a good friend. Remind, rem I mean, honestly, like I'm down to hang out with you. Like you have so much energy. I bet it would be like a ball to get me, you and my wife out doing this. But you got to re believe in that, right? So, you know, the way to overcome it being insecure is by remembering what makes you great. Every step of the way. So if it's being insecure about walking into a title office, it's remembering what makes you a good signing agent. If it's insecure about trying to ask someone out to do something on a personal level, it's remembering like, I am fun to be around. I am exciting. I am interested in what they do. Wait, but what if I don't think I'm interesting? All I do is work, Mark, and I definitely <laughs> like to do. Okay, again, so, so, but, so, okay, let's have a moment here, right? Uh -huh. like, like, girl, like, you are as energy, as infectious as anyone I've ever met, and I, I, I haven't met you yet. And I feel that through this, that you know what I mean? So, First off, like, do you have other friends? I do. Okay, and why do they like, like to hang out with you? Um, I guess the same reasons that you said. So say it out loud. The same reasons that, that you said? No, well, say those reasons oh, out loud. Oh, uh, energetic and, like, I don't know why they hang out with me. I don't know, Mark. Yeah, well, they hang out with you probably because you are willing to have their back. My guess is one of your friends called you up. You'd be like, girl, talk to me. If someone of your friends asked you to pick him up, would you pick him up? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, that's my point. So say, say that that's why people want to be with you. Uh, or, and I think maybe I should like be like find stuff to do on the weekends. I don't know, man. Like you said, I remember in your course, you said to be interesting and to, you know, look up stuff and I don't know, Mark. Okay, so, look, look, okay so, so, so what I need to do first is to, to, Angel, you gotta have, you're, you, you are amazing. You know you are, okay? Like you said, you have friends who know you're amazing. So you got the self-doubt needs to leave by remembering what makes you great. That that's the only way to get rid of self-doubt. Because if you keep telling yourself the same narrative, girl, then it's gonna keep playing bigger and bigger in your head. So 
you, like I said, you're super energetic. You're super crazy. But I, I don't know why your clients wouldn't want to go grab lunch with you or happy okay. hour or do coffee or go do a walk around that something in San Jose. So figure out something. So I'm going to end with this. Okay. Okay. Outside of the coaching on how to be more secure. Okay. Here's the coaching on how to become more interesting is find things to do in San Jose, literally Google things to do San Jose. So maybe it is a, a art walk in, in Cupertino. So it is okay. like, hey girl, I'm going to the art walk in Cupertino this weekend. Me and my girlfriend's going, I would love for you to join if you don't have any plans this weekend. Okay. So the way you become interesting is you find interesting things to do. Again, that's effort on your part. You okay. live in the Bay Area. I can only imagine if you did a little trip over the bridge, how many amazing things are going on in San Francisco. They're like, hey, me and my girls are taking a ride into the city this weekend for X, Y, Z. And the age gap shouldn't matter, right? Because many of my direct clients, they are like 40 plus. I'm just saying. Like, I don't know if I can really, I don't know. Again, again, Angel, you were telling yourself narratives that you need to stop. Like, you, okay. you have to stop these narratives. The way to get better okay. is catching what you do and oh, okay. retraining yourself to think different. Does that make sense? Okay. You, are, you are talking yourself out of something <sighs> versus talking yourself into something. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So 100%. all I hear is someone talking themselves out of something. For, it's like, yeah. You've done this each step of your business, right? Before you did your first signing, you had to talk yourself into it. To get, before you went to your first title company, you had to talk yourself into it. Yeah. So this is just another step of your journey. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it and does. Again, people want to be interested in interesting things. So just find something, like find an art walk, find a paint and sit. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you can work on yourself being more interesting, then start doing that. Got right? it. Part of personal growth is about growing. Mm -hmm. So if you really feel like you're not very fun, then start doing fun things. That's part of growing. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yep. Got it. Okay. So awesome. remember, I'm going to end with this is like, you can always talk yourself out of something, always. 10 out of 10 times. The personal growth is talking yourself into something. Right. That's the personal growth, right? So instead of saying, oh, I'm not interesting, say, you know what, I'm gonna start becoming interesting. Yes, got it. So yeah. how, do you start, how do you start becoming interesting? You do literally just find things. interesting things to do. Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> like this weekend, I literally went out with some friends this weekend to a baseball game. Do I like baseball? Not really, but was it something to do? Yes. Does that make sense? So my friends wanted to hang out with me because we went to a Padres game. Actually, it's a friend that's a realtor. And so we went out to a Padres game this weekend, even though I don't like baseball, but it's still something that I chose to do so I can do something with him. Got it. Does that make sense? So you can become interesting. You need to make it a choice to become. And what I love about this is you're really growing as a person. And business is amazing because business is just a mask of personal growth. So business is a forcing us to become somebody different in a positive way. Because remember, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I've said it like four times, but I'm literally gonna end with this. Okay. You cannot expect different results and still be the same person. So part of you wants to grow your business, but you're not willing to step out of your comfort zone and become interesting in your words. Right, so become interesting by finding things to do, by finding things that you can invite people to. That's just on you. Like baseball game this last weekend, I am not, football and basketball all day, but baseball in my town is an opportunity to do something with somebody to make myself more interesting. So what did we do? I invited my wife out, he invited his wife out, and we went on a double date to a baseball game, and the baseball game was the background. It was it. me and him, getting a, a deeper relationship as my wife and his wife getting a deeper relationship. So you can choose to be more interesting if you want to put time and effort into it. So true. Yes. So remember, you cannot be someone else by still being who you are. So become more interesting. Do more things. Girl, let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much, Mark. All right. Thank I'll you, talk bye. to you soon. Bye. <laughs> All right. I hope everyone, that, that was a really good conversation, right? You know, what I love is every part of this live, but they have people on different parts of their journey. So she's starting her own signing service, but she's still insecure about taking a business relationship to a personal. And I, what I love about this is that it's all about growth every step of the way. So no matter, even if you think that, you know, you're insecure being a signing agent who hasn't done your first signing, you are someone who's vulnerable enough to be like, look, 
Like I need to grow and start asking other people to do interesting things. And part of that is just growing as a person. So, uh, so uh, Angel, thank you so much for being vulnerable. It sounds like a lot of people here got a lot of value out of that conversation. Um, and again, being sometimes being a signing agent has less to do with being a signing agent, but more about personal growth and understanding that you can blossom into somebody new and somebody that people want to hang out with and do things with. But uh, don't sell yourself short. Anybody out there listening, we're amazing. Uh, let's go. All right, so who's next? What up, girl? Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, I am so good. How are you? So where are you from and what's your name? So my name is Diana. Um, currently residing in Florida, but I'm from New York. Okay, cool, I'm cool. So where we are in our journey? So I'm going to be signing up to your loan signing system. Woo! Of course. Not even I'm, so excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Welcome, girl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, so you got me live. Uh, any questions I can help you with and any goals I can help you set? Yes. So I'm thinking long term. And right okay. now I do work full time, but I want to eventually grow my uh, loan signing business to be full time. And that's, I want that to be my focus. Yes. Um, but I am the breadwinner of my family. So I want to make sure or I want to ask. Um, how do I get to that level where I can make my business full time and not have to sacrifice finances? Yeah, good question. And first off, I'm gonna tell you is, you know, most signing agents start off part time. So your journey is very normal. Very few people come in heads first unless they just got laid off or something. So your journey is very normal with 90% of my students. And so the answer is this, you're gonna have to let the income replace your current. So I still think you're probably three, six months out. So as soon as you, so here's, I, I never tell students, I guess question mark, should I quit? I will never tell anyone to quit. That's between you and your family. But usually the best judgment on when that might be appropriate is if you're turning down more signings that equal what, you're, what you could replace your income with. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let's say you're three months in and you're like, dude, I just turned down three signings. It's not even noon yet. You know what I mean? Or, you know, you're working and you're like, oh my gosh, if I would have made, if I would have accepted all those appointments, I could have made four thousand dollars a month when you start using the data to help drive those decisions is when you should really make that transition to part-time to full-time does that make sense definitely definitely and um i have just have one more question yeah 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 so i'm also doing my realtors exam um i know i have I'm doing a lot of things yes. <laughs> but trying to be very successful um and still have time to spend with my kids and my family um but do you feel like notary or loan signing is a good compliment to being a realtor yeah i do 100 percent. but let me give you some just advice mm -hmm. like i meant to i am to many people is i would choose a lane it's tough to be all things to all people if the real estate agents being your passion i would kind of go in because what i would because even if you don't take my course i'm just trying to help you and your family if being a real estate agent your passion what i'd hate for you to do is take time away from learning how to be a realtor and put up your loan signing agent career and you do neither one good great so you do both good, but neither one great. You want to be great in one of those two so you can really excel and make the income. Because if you're going to be a part-time loan signing agent that you wanted to really surplant your current income, then you should be going all in on being a signing agent and not like, oh, 75% here, 25% here. Because then you're going to get frustrated. Well, how come my signing orders aren't getting more? And it's well because you're only giving yourself 75% of you or vice versa. Well, it's like, well, I got my realtor license, but I'm not selling that many homes. Well, the answer is because you're putting some effort over being a signing agent and you're not letting your realtor business blossom and the energy and the momentum build. So what I would really say is I would sit down and ask myself, what do I want more? What am I more passionate about? Where do I think an easier way to revenue is? What really works around my schedule better? What really works with my, my family? Because doing a signing agent 75% of the time and being a realtor 25% of the time is letting both businesses down. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Definitely. So, go and on. It, was, it was in my thoughts too. Um, but I know with real, with real estate, it takes a lot longer to start seeing that revenue. It could take months. It could take years. Mm -hmm. um, with a loan signing, I do have some background. So I feel like I would excel at that more. Um, and I might just do the real estate exam just to have the license because I like to have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. um, but I really, my passion is really with loan signing. And that's what I want to do. Yeah, you know, look, and I want to help you make the best decision for you and your family. I'm very pro realtor, but I'm, all, I'm pro going all in. 
Mm -hmm. Right. So I have so many students who are like, well, Mark, I have four different things going, you know, I got a part-time job. I do this other, I do Monet or whatever. I do four things. And then they call me and they're frustrated. Their business has a scale. Cause I'm like, you're giving your business 25% of your time. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I'm very pro going all in. So, you know, whether that's being a realtor or a signing agent, you know, I just have a conversation with you, like you've already had. And then with your family, like, you know, I think this might be the best route because the moment that you decide to go all in is when that business is going to go to the moon. So whether that's being a realtor or being a signing agent, going all in on whatever it is, is what helps you. And then you'll know how to make that transition. But again, most times, the most data that I've gotten from my students is the only reason students don't scale is because we're doing four or five different things. Okay. That makes and sense. then they're frustrated. I'm like, well, you're frustrated because you're only spending one day a week marketing and then they see the other students making all this money. Well, I'm like, well, a lot of students doing five days a week marketing. And so it's not real rocket science outside of like, once you can commit, commit, you know what I mean? Um, but we have a huge contingency down in Florida. I'm super excited for you. I'm stoked that we jumped on together live. But girl, welcome to the family. Thank you so much. And thank you for the advice. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're so welcome. And always hit me up my DMs. You got any other questions, okay? Definitely. Thank you. All right. Bye. Um, I thought that was a great conversation. I mean, you know, again, to kind of recap that conversation with her is, you know, if you're all things to all people, you're usually all things to no one. You know, a lot of students go, well, Mark, I, you know, I can't scale. And I'm like, well, let's talk about what you're doing. And they're doing three different things. And the reason most people don't scale is just because they're not committed to that one thing. So try to go all in on whatever that is. And you'll find that your energy and your momentum scales with you. So hope everybody enjoyed that conversation because I thought that was awesome. Uh, but thank you, uh, D. I will see you in class, girl. All right, so who is next? Oh man, how are you doing? Hey, how you doing? Finally get to you're, talk you're to you good. face to okay, face. So you're breaking up and you're driving. Uh, pull over, uh, A to be saved, but, uh, and, and also so I can get a good uh, cell connection because you're definitely breaking up and I gotta be uh, respectful of everybody who's watching this right now. So Jesse, what's going on, brother? Oh, uh, I just kind of wanted to echo um, what the previous person said. Like I got my real estate license as well. Um, I live in a small community in Northern California. So a lot of the brokerages up here are not hiring new agents and everything. And I got the um, notary as a backup and I, I actually got a lot more encouragement on doing the notary. And uh, they're like, Hey, you know, you have appraisal background, you've worked in title before, this would be great for you. So that's one of the reasons why I signed up on the loan signing system. And uh, I, uh, wanted to kind of echo it like what you were saying don't give don't go half ass go all in and so that's what I'm doing and this morning I actually that's why I'm on the road right now this morning I just picked up my business license um, through the city because my city requires well, it well Jay, so, first off thank you Greg, for those sentiments but let's help you grow your business right now yeah so let's talk about some goal setting Mondays actionable items so where are we at in the business where are you at with your business what are goals for this week I want some specific talking points so talk to me uh, specific is uh, finishing up more of the course because right now I'm only about 60%. Um, it took me forever to find a printer. Um, that's actually being delivered. I got the notification this morning. Um, I got my business license. So I'm starting to check things off the, um, off the list to, to, get, to get going. Um, okay, so let me um, jump in real yeah. quick. So I hear kind of a sure. new signing agents who are all over the place. And you talked about going half in on something, right? I, I would arguably want you to study more in the course and picking up your business license. The, the thing that you got any new, but anything you're new with at something, you got to commit to that learning curve. So here's what I want from you. Okay. I want at least two hours a day for the next five days until you get through the other 40% because there's okay. no reason you shouldn't be out there building this business. And the only reason is right now you're kind of doing busy work instead of really focusing on finishing that last 40%. Does that make sense? Yeah, I actually haven't tried to solicit any business yet. Good. Um, I, I just, well, I, I, should, I was talking to. I need, I need, yeah. let me, I, I want to focus you again, Jesse, okay? So here the coaching here. You should be, the only thing you should be doing is finishing the course. That is it. You should be doing okay. no soliciting. You should be no business license. You should not be worrying about your business cards. Finish the course. See, you got, so when, when successful people do things in increments, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But what happens is, you start spreading yourself thin, nothing gets accomplished. So I, the course right now is what's going to put money into your pocket. The education is a better way of saying it. And so what I want you to do this week is to commit to finishing that 40%.
You got to, okay. everything else is not relevant. Soliciting business, getting business cards, setting up websites, doing signing agent profiles, finish the course two hours every single day. And that's going to create monetary income. Does that make sense? Yeah. A lot of people end up doing busy work. They get the course and they do this and do that. The course never gets done or the course is what's going to put money. The education is going to put what's put money in your pocket, not the business license, right? Because frankly, the course should be done. Then you go get the business license. Then you're setting up for databases. Then you're doing all the other soliciting, but it's really committing to the education piece first that a lot of new signing agents don't do that I'm trying to coach you on right now. So make that a priority and then everything else falls into place. Can we commit to that? Yes. All right. Two yeah, hours. I, I, go on. I was, yeah, I was just going to say like, I had, I had that checklist. I was studying every single day on the course. And then all of a sudden, just one thing happened and my mind went somewhere else. And I was like, right. okay, I got to look for a printer. My CPA, my city requires a business license. That's I got to right. get that, right. uh, you know, and then, and then I started thinking about it and I bought a domain name. Um, you know, I got, I, I, on my checklist, I know I need business cards, but then I like right now in the 60% that I'm at, I'm still stuck at the 50 minute mark on the hour and five minute video that you're doing with snap docs on the 16, on the 16, just, like I'm stuck right there. So it's like, I got to go there and go forward. So yes, I, I, I hundred percent, I'll check back in on Monday if it's possible. Yes. And I'll let you know, like, Hey, I finished it all. Beautiful. And, and, so, hold on, yeah. hold on. Dude, you, you, had, you had like personal growth right in front of you, which I love. Like you, you literally said outside, I found myself getting distracted. And it's yeah. really getting the discipline of like two hours uninterrupted, me in my room, door closed, whatever, I'm focusing. So remember, time blocking so key. So two hours, I, look, if I'd be, so two hours every day, time block that. Nothing else gets in the way and you will finish through the business. But it's easy to get sidetracked and easy to get yeah. distracted. It's our job to like catch ourselves. Okay, I'm doing it again, Mark. I'm doing it again, Jesse. Let's put the brakes back on, refocus, and get through that learning curve, and you'll get there, man. So, look, uh, I appreciate you jumping in. Even, <laughs> even, my, even my mom is my biggest cheerleader, and she was checking on me last week saying, have you finished it yet? And I'm like, no, something came up. I got I to gotta get this. I'm looking at this. I got to find a printer. This is what's recommended. My mom's like, you got to finish. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And <laughs> there you go. So, so yeah. So, I, 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 sorry for always, like, kind of, like, blowing up your DMs with different little things and good. stuff like that. But, you know, I, I – I'm just, yeah, I, well, I, I know. Off, yeah. Off, no need to apologize. Please hit me up whenever you need. But, you, it's, but just don't be upset if I'm giving you some tough love coaching. I'm like, we got to get no, back I appreciate on track. It. We got to get back on track. But no, you know I'm here for you, brother. Anytime you need it, man. But look, time block two hours every day. When, when you catch yourself being distracted, circle yourself back. And time blocking usually is the best way to keep distractions at a minimum. So they look, 10 to 12, Monday through Friday, I'm going to do it. Six to eight, whatever time works. Uh, but uh, tell your mom that I appreciate her, appreciate her yeah. following up with you. Uh, hey, and any, and anytime you want to leave SoCal and you want to visit the Redwoods, let me know. I'll hit you up. I'll take you up, but I got to take my baby boy up there one of these days. So uh, until yep. then, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you, sir. Uh, another great conversation. And I'm just so appreciative that, that Jesse was able to, again, be so um, vulnerable with like, look, distractions get the best of all of us, right? It, it's not – it's normal. They're like, oh my gosh, I got to do this. Oh my gosh, I got to do that. So what I need for you to do, the best way to, to, to keep distractions to a minimum is to time block. When you say that you're going to go, when you're going to study the course from 10 to 12, or when you say, I'm going to go market my business 10 to 12, that you commit to that. You don't allow distractions within that time blocking period. So no matter where you are in your journey, time block for activities that don't allow distractions and that will help you get from point A to point B much quicker. All right, so let's get someone else on right now. Oh, Diddy! Hi. Hi, what's up, what's up, girl? Talk to me. Can you, you can hear me, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, just want to give you an update. The last time I talked to you, I think it was about over a month ago. And uh, I guess my goal for that week was to go to a new title office, introduce myself. And I had an op opportunity. It was kind of like a little bit of a warm introduction, but you know, I went and did my thing uh, based on your training, which is awesome. Um, and I landed a big title company, first American title in Modesto. Woo! Girl, hold on. Yep. Can everyone drop our clapping emoji right now? I remember this conversation. You don't remember this conversation, girl. And I said, <laughs> commit to me that you're going to walk in, you're going to push past your fear. 
past your nerves and you just said you landed a first American title office. I am so proud of you. So where are we with that office? Talk now, I mean, but what are our goals for this week? Yeah, so I started with them the last week of August and apparently August was like the, one of the biggest months uh, so far this, this year. So, you know, I kind of went in on the tail end of it, which is perfectly fine. So I've been with them almost a month and it's been truly very amazing. Um, I, I got introduced to an assistant and then from there, I actually ended up uh, kind of connecting with the escrow office. I still haven't met, met him in person, but he's reached out personally a couple of times for me to pick up some signings that he had come up last minute or whenever he needed it. So it's been really amazing. And he happens to be the <laughs> okay. branch manager. So I'm going I'm to stop you. I'm going to stop you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's coaching and here are goals. First off, I'm so freaking proud of you. I, when you when you get done watching, you're gonna see all the images. People are like rooting for you and getting in their juice for your success. That is the loan signing system way. But here's what I heard, okay? So I heard somebody who's giving you business mm -hmm. that you haven't met yet. You need to prioritize that. Sure. See, this business is relationship built. See, the right. notaries who are prioritizing to get to know that escrow officer are the ones who are getting the phone calls before you. So what I want you to do this week is to prioritize it. Like literally, what I mean by prioritizing it, DD, is literally yeah. saying tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 12, I am making a priority. No, I don't care if I get 13 text messages for business. I'm making a priority yeah. to walk in there and say hello. Now my guess is yeah. you're probably a little bit nervous. My guess is maybe there's a little bit of butterflies, but we gotta push through that because what I don't want, DD, is I don't want another notary to take the place of the relationship you should be building. Sure. Now that you've moved in, now that you've moved into that office, it is one oh, it's a hundred percent focused on building relationships. Yeah. But you need to prioritize that. It's one thing to get the business. See, anybody can get the business. Sure. Not anybody, not everybody focuses on relationships. So if he's giving you a couple signings, like walk in there to thank you gift. Like, sure. dude, thank you so much. You don't know who I am yet, but I've done two closes for you last week. But yeah. I'm going to say thank you with buying your office lunch or whatever that looks like in your world. Sure. But you need to prioritize that. <laughs> Does that make sense? No, that makes sense. So I have a question for you. And well, I'll answer it and you tell me what you think of it. So he actually has been working from home. So every time I go in, I ask like, hey, is he in? Is he in? So he's not, right? Um, and I even offered to buy Starbucks to him one day. I sent him an email asking him what he wanted. And he said he's not in the office. He's working from home. So do you think it's, would it be nice if I just sent him like a Starbucks gift card? Like I can email it or text it to him. No, or, or, why, or, or why don't you door dash it? Like I want to oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. lunch, right? I'm yeah. door, like, what's your favorite food? Olive Garden. Yeah. Dan, I'll be there at noon. I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Like yeah, you got it. So, you awesome. know, the, this business is about creating real relationships, right. right? You have to see this business. Like I know you're married. Like when, when your husband was courting you or you are courting your husband, like you prioritize, like, look, if you're sick, I'm going to bring you chicken noodle soup. Like you prioritize building it, right? That's why you guys got married. All right. But a business relationship's not any different, right? There's, you know, everyone goes, well, is that B2B sales? There's no such, no such thing as business to business. It's personal to personal. Does that make sense? But I need you to prioritize. To prioritize this relationship like you did trying to court your husband or your husband trying right. to court you. There's no difference. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, make sense. So, and what I want you to do, I'm going to end with this, D, is – you know, I want you to be, I want everything come from a true place of authenticity, right? Like my bet is you are actually really appreciative that he's giving you $175 deals. Very, very. So why aren't you prioritizing making sure he knows that? Yeah. Does that make sense? And that's make where sense. I think, and I think that's the next growth of your business, by the way. Sure. Right. The sure. first growth was overcoming the nerves. This, you know, the second growth was like coming in and be like, okay, I can do this. Now it's really understanding that your job is to build authentic, real relationships and yeah. being really appreciative of every moment that you get from these. Cause that's how I built my business. When someone gave me a signing, I'm like, dude, you just gave me 150 freaking dollars. Like, like, thank you. And I would just come and I would just ooze it. And hopefully like how you students feel about me, about you being a student, right? I was like so appreciative, yeah. but I want that to rub off on you. My point is, yeah. is because when that rubs off on your clients, He's gonna be like, no notaries door to ask me lunch. No one says thank you as much as you do. No one's sending me weekly thank you cards. Absolutely. Be the notary who's really appreciative and you will move to the direct top of that.
person's yeah. Rolodex. Does that make sense? So I think the next growth is really having a, a real authentic appreciation of what they're doing. And you're going to see your business go to the moon. Because you know what's going to happen? He's going to email another escrow officer like, oh my gosh, this Didi notary is like the most thankful notary I've ever freaking met. She's door dashing me freaking lunch once a week. Like, <clears throat> and then the, the escrow officer be like, like, I want to work with someone like that. And then it naturally kind of organically, you get your, your wings spread through that office. Does that make sense? No, it makes sense. I mean, I, I reached about 6,200 for August. So he might bump me to that 10K club, you know? <laughs> That's right. Well, first, I hope everybody heard that. You made $6,000 in August. Congratulations, D. But yes, the way you build your business to the 10K is by being real, authentic, and showing gratitude. It's not working harder. It's becoming more of a human. Absolutely. I think a lot of signing agents think, oh, I got to work harder to make more money. No, you just got to become more real. People want to do business with people. People want to do business with people who are appreciative of the fact they give them business. Does that make sense? So the key to the 10K club isn't working harder. It's just being more appreciative. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I, so I got that out of you this week. This week, prioritize making sure that he feels like you are so appreciative. Can I get that out of you? Yes, sir. All Absolutely. Right, well, D, I'm so proud of you, by the way. I, I mean, you are the definition of slow and steady, what increments out of your comfort zone and keep building. So I know this is another good step in the right direction. You're amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate it. All right. Go get them. Bye. Bye. I love today has been so amazing so far. It's really about prioritizing things. Uh, time blocking, make sure there's no distractions to get where you want to go. Um, man, D, I'm so proud of you, girl. All right, who's next? I'm here. Okay, Kelly, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hey, Mark. Okay, first, first up, girl, can you be safe and, and maybe pull over? I will make sure that you're okay. Number two, I don't want to lose reception because I hear you loud and clear. Okay? Awesome. Yeah, no, right, I got so, you on a stand, but I will pull over just a second because I got you on all my right, phone well, stand. While you're doing this, well, while you're doing this, I want to let everybody know that uh, I just interviewed D as the latest on the road interview. So we're all looking at a ten thousand dollar month signing agent out in Chicago. Let's go! Woo woo! Woo woo! <laughs> okay, so so how can I help a ten thousand dollar month signing agent set some goals this week? So uh, hopefully I. In my head, know where your goals should be. We talked about it. But uh, what are some goals you have for yourself this week that I can help you hold yourself accountable to and maybe help you make a game plan? So um, I listen to everything you said. And I, I had a talk with myself, and I was like, yeah, I'm really offended that I don't have the full fee. So from that moment on, when I was accepting offers, um, I said, you know what? There's no reason for me to be accepting lowball offers. There's no reason for me to be um, just trying to fill my schedule, you know, like even if it is here in town or whatever. Um, so I deliberately said, I'm only going to accept offers at this amount and whatever I've rejected and whatever open time I have, I'm going to use that because it's more valuable for me to market than for me to be sitting at a signing. So, so that's what I'm doing this week, and I've got my mornings open, and it's the end of the week, you know, the last week of the month. So um, I just, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm getting my bags together. I've got my cards. I just need the motivation to get out there. <laughs> All right. Well, first um, off, there's a lot of great things I heard. You know, you know, I want to make sure everybody hears it as well. You know, I, I, told, I told Cal, I said, look, there needs to be a moment. I, not everyone's at this moment. So I want my newer signing agents just to hear me. There'll be a point in your career where you should be insulted that you're not keeping the entire signing fee. Kelly's built a $10,000 belt business off of working 60, 80, $100 businesses, $100 appointments, excuse me, and she's built a nice $10,000 a month business from that. So that's definitely appropriate, but there's a moment in your business where you have to say, look, my time is worth more. I know I'm good at what I do. So Kelly's there, and I'm, a, I'm so thankful and happy that that clicked in you after our conversation. But what I don't want you to do is running around a little aimlessly. So what I want you to do is on a Monday morning, be like, look, Mark, on Sunday, I already game plan. There is eight at title offices near me. So on Monday, I'm going to time block 10 to 12, making up the time. I'm going to time block X hours to go talk to those two. And then don't let yourself off the hook until you talk to those two. 
But you have to kind of have a pre-written out game plan to hold yourself accountable to. So a lot of times signing agents about to go all in on their, on their direct business still work a little directionless. They're like, I want to go get the business, but they're not taking the work week and breaking it down. So it's like, look, I, I, I targeted 10 title companies near me. I'm going to take those 10 and turn those into two a day. Those two a day, I'm going to talk to from 10 to 12. So you see I'm reverse engineering the 10 into just a Monday. And then you hold yourself accountable to those two from 10 to 12. And now you're building momentum to marketing direct. So whether you did that today or you did that to, for tomorrow, make sure that you're not walking directionally. Like, okay, I picked 10. I'm going to take those 10, turn them into two a day. Now I have those two a day. I'm going to turn those into from 11 to 12. I'm going to go talk to them. So make sure each day is scheduled out because you put work into it. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Okay, cool. So yep. it sounds like that you haven't got to that point yet. So my goal for you for today and for this evening is to target your five or eight, whatever number it is, break down those two. So tomorrow I want you hitting up one. Why this is important, Kelly, and hope everybody hears me. Why this having so much uh, 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 direction is important because then the next week, you got to work in your follow-ups and you can't be directions with your follow-ups because then no one's going to get followed up with. So this week you're going to hit up five title companies. Next week you're going to time block follow-up time and marketing new title companies. And it's just this rinse and repeat effort that's going to build your direct business for the next 30 to 60 days. Because the next week I don't want the people you're marketing this week not to follow into your follow-up marketing plan. Does that make sense? But if, sense, yeah. but if you're just waking up on Monday, girl, like, okay, I know this is ahead of me. I'm losing you. You've lost for the week. So today's goal is to get back to square one. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm targeting these five. I'm going to hit these five up this week. Then next week, it's five new ones plus following up with the five old ones. So that's 10 people you gotta, that you got to hit. Yeah. Does that make sense? And so just make sure that you're, you have a game plan under follow-up and, and target to begin with. And we're going to build this business, girl. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Mark. Just All, right. I check in. All right. So everybody, Thank you. watch her on the road should launch this week. So, Kelly, awesome. I'm excited for everybody to hear your story from out in Chicago doing big things. So, Kel, uh, stick with it. I'm proud of you, girl. And, and um, I'll talk to you very soon as we have some exciting news we want to share with everybody. But we're going to keep that in the background for right now. But until then, All Kel, right. go out and inspire everybody what's possible in Chicago, okay? All right. Got All it. Right, Thanks, Mark. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, what an amazing combo with my girl, Cal. Uh, $10,000 a month through signing services in Chicago. You can build this business through any means necessary as long as you have the effort. So uh, let's go with, uh, we got about 15 minutes here. Who do we have here next? Hey there. Boom, 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 boom. What's up, girl? Sorry, you had bad signal. How are no, you? I am so good. So tell everybody your name, where you're from. Um, Saida. I'm actually from North Lauderdale, Florida, South Florida. Love it, love it. And then tell everybody where, tell me where, where, where you are in your journey. So I actually found your page by mistake, and I started. Following. Uh, no such thing as accidents, exactly. girl. Exactly. There's not. Um, I'm an actual insurance agent. That's what I do for a living. So I work from home, and I used to work for a law firm a couple of years ago. So I actually have my notary. So when I came upon your system, I'm like, let me look into this a little bit more. And I start seeing testimonials and I'm like, wait, I need to get into this. So um, very soon I'm going to start the course, um, but that's where I'm at now. So I'm just very new to this, um, but I do have the notary already. Got it, got it, got it. You got me live. Is there any questions or, you know, let me just really say, I'm, I'm so excited to have you part of the family. We have an amazing family of signing agents, including uh, 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 Law Fort Lauderdale and including the whole Florida, state of Florida. So I'm excited for you. Have you any quick questions for me that I can help with? Yeah. So um, right now I, I work in the insurance industry. I've been doing this eight years. I want to implement, implement making more money. What is your best advice as far as starting and getting into this business? Because all I know is from what I did at the law firm, I don't know. I didn't know you can make this much money being yeah. a signing agent. Yeah. No, it's really the best kept secret in real estate. Most people don't realize that every single home has to have a notary to close. I mean, my best piece of advice is this, you know, just expect that there's going to be a learning curve. I think a lot of new signing agents are like, you know, don't realize that you have to learn mortgage terminology. And if you've never done it before, there's going to be a learning curve. Nothing that 
you can't learn, but my, my, my point to you is just expect it, right? If you've never seen a reverse mortgage before, a home equity line of credit, I'm going to give you all that paperwork. A lot okay. of times discouragement comes from unrealistic expectations. So I'm trying to help you with realistic expectations. And if you've never done mortgages before, it's something you Excellent can learn. mortgage protection. Yeah, I love curve. it. So, you know, but again, there's seller packages, HELOCs. But my point is just expect a learning curve. That, that, that's my advice to you. Um, and then you can make money as soon as everything kind of clicks and, and takes place. So, um, you know, the heart of the soul of the course is about six hours, but you may need to go through that course two or three times. Everyone's which going course, to which course do I actually need to do? Since the six figure have, course, hundred percent, the six figure course, I uh, okay. use that payment plan for works better for you. Um, okay. but you'll get the entire thing. So you always hit me up my DMS if you need anything. So, you know, this is goal setting Monday. So my goal for you is girl, you got your notary commission. Well, most okay. of my students don't even have that coming into the industry. So you can okay. literally start making money as soon as the knowledge starts clicking in your head. So get it today. You get the entire course of that first payment. So just dive in, make a commitment, and let's build a business. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. I'm here if you need anything at all, you know that. So always set me up my DMs, whatever you need, okay? Absolutely. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. All right. I love it. Notaries from all over their journey. Who is next? Let's go with um, Shanae. I hope I said that right, Shanae. Uh, Shanae, you are up next. It was awesome talking. All right, all right. Okay, um, all right, cool. Oh. You are live, girl. <laughs> How um. are you? I'm good, thanks. I just okay, cool. Question. Tell me your name. I know you're Laura Notary, Martin. and where are you from? <laughs> I can you hear me? Am I frozen? Yes. Oh, there. Um, so I I took my notary, got passed my notary exam. Then I started your course. I just passed and got my certificate from passing your class. <laughs> um, Congratulations. So now in, thank you. In the meantime, what should I be doing? I mean, I'm finishing the course, obviously, but I that's it. Girl, that's it. That's it. You know, the first person we talked today, Jesse, uh, and the gentleman I before the very him, beginning. Yeah, is you you have to just focus on the learning curve. Okay. The problem is most new signing agents, their minds here, but the education still here. Focus on building your business through education. Remember this. Okay. The most educated signing agent makes the most money. I did the essentials. The most educated course, signing right? agent makes the most money. See, most signing agents jump in the biz on my course. They slam through the course and they get out and they're like, "Well, I'm I'm, I'm still running around my chicken with my head cut off." And it's like because you didn't focus on the education part. So my point is, is I love that you want to build this business and I know you want to make the money. I get it. But as your coach, my job is to kind of bottle in that energy and make you realize that the signing agent who's most educated makes the most money. You don't make more money because you got through the quick co uh, course quicker right. than somebody else. So right. if I can be a coach for a moment and tell you to keep your eye on the prize, finish the course, okay. and then make sure you set up that last one-on-one -on -one with me, and then I will help you create that business plan to really go out there and build the business. But you know, Jesse was talking about how he was getting distracted, getting a business license, doing business cards. None of that's putting money in his pocket. Right. What's going to put okay. money in your pocket is understanding how the business works, why it works, memorizing the scripts, understanding the marketing techniques. You know, okay. some students will get the certification and, and almost forget the marketing part of the course. And I'm like, I'm great. Glad you know how to do an appointment, but you've got to put in how to get appointments as much as you get on how to learn how to do the appointment. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yes. <laughs> everything else you said, girl, I want you to, I want to reel you back in. Okay. Focus on the course. <laughs> finish that course. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> All right. I know it's, I will it says it takes you. about 10 weeks to get my notary commission in the mail. So I'm just, I have 10 weeks to, I guess. Yes. We have a lot of, we have a lot of marketing training record materials. Just make sure you go through all of that. Okay. That's what's going to build your business. All right. And then be active Thank in that you. Facebook group, be active in the live trainings. Uh, and I will see you whenever you need me. Okay. Thank you. All right. Go get them. Bye. All right, I got time for one more person. Um, who do we have? Uh, one more. This has been an amazing one today. Uh, let's go with Leah Fish. Are you there, Leah? Yes. What up, what up, what up? Oh, my gosh. I'm in bed. I'm uh, totally under the weather. And I was like, let's see if I get accepted. Okay. Get so. it, girl. Get it. Okay, so um, 
uh, where are you from? And where okay, are you I'm from Dallas, Georgia? Texas. I'm from Dallas, okay. Texas, and I just did my very first signing. Woo! Yes. Everybody, can we drop her a round of applause? <laughs> a very first signing out in Texas, girl. I am so, yes. so proud of you. Okay, so I know that you are a little under the weather. Yes. <laughs> but let's talk about some goals for this week. We got about five minutes. So okay. what are some goals for this week? And I want to help you through those. Okay, so some goals would be, I found out during that signing that it's like you gear yourself up and then you get hit with a lot of things that you're not expecting, like late docs, traffic on the way to the appointment, barely had time to print the docs, didn't print right, get there, have to run. I mean, there were so many things I had to like coach myself through and was almost in tears. So um, I feel like once I got to the signing, I couldn't even think straight. I, I literally was so frazzled. I forgot so many things, even though I had learned it way before. So then I had well, 29 let me, let me, let me just, let me just jump in real quick. Let me just jump yes. in. We, we only got four minutes. We only have four minutes. Okay. So I don't know where the goal setting is, but let's give you a little advice on this. Maybe that's what we're going to talk about more than your goals. Okay. If all I heard was someone who was brand new at something, that's all I heard. Right. So, so, so my so, goal would be, oh, go ahead. So, yeah. So all I heard was someone who was brand new at something. So like I was telling uh, the lady before you or two before you is you have to have realistic expectations. Right. You know, my point is in, for signing number two, three, four, and five, you have to anticipate that, you know, you might have to get better at using your printer, but that's only going to come with time. So frazzled yes. usually means that we're not expecting the unexpected, right? So what I want to coach you on right now is for signing two, three, four, and five, just realize you're starting a brand new business. You can't get good at something until you do it. Don't right. expect yourself to be, don't compare yourself to a signing agent who's done a hundred. Your very That's first time ever. Absolutely. So the coaching is breathe, right? <laughs> if you're yeah. running a little bit late, just call the borrower and say, look, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm running a little bit behind. No one's going to get mad at you. You're putting unnecessary pressure on you, which is creating the overwhelming moments. Right. So it's as simple as, hey, you know what? I'm stuck in some traffic. There's a little bit of rain. I'm going to be about 10, 15 minutes behind. Like, just be kinder to yourself. It's my coaching. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. So for the next, so my, my goal for you on the next two or three or four appointments, because look, you might be a little frazzled on the next one. You've never done this before. Just no. be kinder to yourself and right. allow yourself to communicate with the signer, with the mm -hmm. signing service. Like, look, if you've got late docs, then the signing service understands you might be late to the appointment. Why are you putting unnecessary pressure on yourself at that point? You've got the late doc, the docs late. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you're adding pressure to yourself when you should never have done that to begin with. Did you understand that coaching? Absolutely. And my personality is I do unnecessary. So I have to focus on telling myself throughout the process, you've got this, you can do it. This is a bump in the road. It's not your fault. Keep going. Communicate. That's right. and, and, and more importantly though, girl is communication. Mm -hmm. Communication yeah. will solve all those issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got late docs, right? You got late docs. Mm -hmm. So what should you probably do? Maybe call the customer and be like, I got late docs. Problem right. solved. Now they're not expecting you to be on time. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the coaching is be kinder to yourself. The coaching is communicate. If you got the docs late, then all you need to do is tell your client, the borrower, I got late docs. Problem solved. Pressure's off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Love so it. you're break you're breaking up a little bit, and that's I got to jump off at one o'clock. But I hope everybody heard that all my new signing agents. You know, if you get late docs, and all you need to do is communicate to whoever gave you the signing, I got late docs. Then your problems are literally solved. If you're in traffic and you're late to the appointment, why are you not simply calling the borrower, calling the signing service? Like, look, stuck in a little bit of traffic on top of late docs. I might be thirty minutes late. No one's going to be upset with you. But as a new signing agent, sometimes you put this unnecessary pressure on yourself when it's only you putting the pressure on you. So communication is a key in this business. And I'm going to end with that. This is a real business. So, and all we need in business is communication. Have you ever been to a restaurant 
and your food takes a little bit longer than you think, and then right when you think the foods took too long, the uh, uh, server comes over to you and goes, oh, the kitchen's running a little bit behind. Then all of a sudden you're like, cool, no worries, the kitchen's behind, because all they did was communicate to you the kitchen's a little bit behind. So do that with your business. Oh my gosh, I got a, 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 a little bit late dogs. I'm stuck in traffic and everyone's gonna be okay. So it's one o'clock, I'm all out of here, guys, real quick. You might've heard the news. We have a huge announcement with Staples. Yes, the Staples, the office supply chain. We are about to have a huge, huge announcement. Know that every single day I'm working to help you build your business, be a more profitable business, helping you get the most cost-effective supplies out there. So I want you to be excited because I'm about to announce, I can't announce it yet, but just know that the loan signing system is doing something huge with Staples to bring you the best cost savings possible. With that being said, I'm out of here. Be blessed. And I say this every single week, and I mean it. I believe in you. But I can't believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Let's go! Let's go!